Hi, this is Kevin Hua, and I'm going to be introducing you to plasma cutting. Today we'll be talking about what plasma is, some of the consumables that are involved with plasma, some do's and don'ts, and what materials can be cut with plasma. Then we'll show you some cutting. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. If you think about it, plasma is a thermal cutting process and it will cut anything that is conductive, as in will carry electricity. So down here we have a few consumables that go into your torch. We have the body, the swirl ring, the electrode, the nozzle, and a few selections of tips or shields. The difference between these two shields is one can be used to drag and the other one must be held above the workpiece. So plasma can be used to weld, cut, etch, and gouge. It's a very versatile process. One of the don'ts of plasma cutting is you never want to dry fire your torch. That makes the pilot arc arc on the outside of the cup and it'll eventually wreck your consumables. You always want to have this thing grounded. Something to keep in mind is if you're going to use a drag cutting technique, you need a drag shield. If you arc this out, it will fuse itself to whatever you're cutting. The plasma cutting process uses compressed air and not oxygen, and adding more pressure will not increase the quality of your cut. The compressed air coming out of this torch comes out in a swirling pattern. That means that your cut is going to bell out at the bottom. This is more apparent on thicker materials. When using the plasma, you want to be at a 90 degree to your workpiece. If you're going to be using it to gouge, you want to tip your torch back to make sure the material clears the area. This process literally vaporizes your material. The fumes coming off of this are very bad for you, so please make sure you have a respirator and a smoke heater. These last two materials here, aluminum and stainless, you would not be able to cut with oxyacetylene. And I just want you to notice when we talk about the belling effect, that it gets wider as it gets to the bottom. So on heavier material, you'll experience that. Now the upfront cost of plasma may be a lot, but the versatility that you get out of it is worth it. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to plasma and thanks for coming to Efficient and Proficient with me, Kevin Hua.